In today's video, I'll show you how easy it is to replace a torsion bar on a Volvo 430 2015. This specific truck has a tag axle, and I'll show you another video with a truck that has a drive axle there. Um, same process, a little bit different, but it's also easy. So let's begin. I'll do one continuous shot so you see how long it's taking me. So now it's time to find out what tools we need for this job. On the passenger side, we need a 21 millimeter wrench and a 15, 16 socket. On the driver's side, we need a 24 millimeter wrench and a 13, 16 socket. I'm not paid by this company. I, this is my opinion. I use these wrenches. My friends, they use these wrenches and they are very durable and not expensive i'll drop a link down below so if you like it just check them out i also advise you to buy yourself a milwaukee gun or a dewalt all depends maybe you already invested into one brand or another if you have dewalt buy yourself a dewalt or if you have milwaukee buy yourself a milwaukee it's a really powerful tool and every job gets super easy so now let's begin. And yeah, one more thing. You want to keep this bar level to the ground because otherwise you'll not be able to put the socket on that bolt right there. Level or this side a little more up, but not down. Just a little bit hard because that bolt gets stuck there. So I'll have to hammer it down with a screwdriver in here like this. And just easy like that. So now we have to repeat this process. Second bolt. You see how easy it's worked to work with that power tool? It's like super easy. It's like effortless. No effort. Effortless. That's what I wanted to say. Now we are done with the driver's side. Now I have to repeat the same thing. Of course, before I start removing those bolts, I applied some DW40 or something like this. Helps. It's that easy, guys. It's almost done. I don't know how many minutes it took. So that's the new bar, and if you're interested, this is the part number, 24063633, and that's a 2015 Volvo VNL430. Just easy like this.
are right the same length. Yeah, looks like this bolt is just a little bit longer on the left side. I want to put the same size on both sides. Don't mess them up. Now it's time to insert this bolt. I forgot to tell you, it's a good idea to clean the bolts from rust and spray them with some DW40. mark kind of a sink right here like this. so for this purpose I probably will use my hammer so I want to put it back the way it was See guys, it's a really easy job. It's not worth it your time to go to some shop to do this. So the Milwaukee gun is very powerful, so what I would do, switch it just to number two, you know, like this. minutes. I'm at the 10 minutes mark right now. But that's how long, it, long it's going to take you guys. Maybe a little more because you have to prepare your tools. But it's not worth driving to the shop. Yeah. 
too much torque. It took me 11 minutes and 25 seconds to replace the torsion bar. It was super fast and super easy with the right tools. By the way, I dropped the links for them in the description down below. If you liked my video, drop a comment and like it. Also, if you want to support my channel, you can buy me a coffee by using the link I also dropped in the description down below. Have a good one.